last year, Adrian, you and I talked a little bit after Screening of Light Phases, and we talked about how you had kind of two different styles of movies you did. You do cool, like, batshit crazy movies like Your Cold Sweat and right. your uh, Here Comes the Devil, and then Late Phases, which was more of your traditional slow burn. Sure. Looks like we're kind of back to the to, to the, the crazy-ass yeah. Chilean uh, I mean, awesomeness. <laughs> I mean, yeah, th this movie is, is uh, a lot more personal than Late Phases was, and, and closer to my, you know, to, to some of of the things of my everyday life, not the kidnaps or the killings or anything like that, <laughs> but but the, the 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 landscapes, the you know the some of the characters that appear there are things that I I was more able to relate to than than late faces. You know, like late faces was a was an amazing experience, but I wanted to come back and do something, you know, explore a bit more uh, of Mexico. You know, I only I only made you know. Two films in Mexico so far, so you know this was this was an, a new chance to to you know to try to explore some stories and some some things that I wanted to you know to try. Mm -hmm. um, your new movie and I hope I don't butcher it. Is it Scherzo Diablo? It's Scherzo Diabolico. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's an Italian it's an Italian title. It comes from a classical piece of uh, for piano, mm -hmm. uh, but it also means. Uh, diabolical joke so it's got the two different meanings that you know both are you know very good for for the spirit of the movie that it's you know the movie it's a it's a it's a black comedy so you know the the black comedy elements are very subtle at some points so it's not a movie where people is laughing but uh, yeah you know they're, they're, they are there yeah, and uh, several of your previous movies, Cold Sweat, definitely had that black comedy going on, right. and uh, and Late Face had yeah, yeah, yeah some comedic well. elements. Yeah, I think yeah, you know, it, it works sometimes to to throw that those kind of things, but the yeah, the 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 comedic elements on these movies, it's are you know those elements are are very different from the the previous films. I, I think that they're more twisted and more you know perverse. So I think that's one of the reasons why people really don't know if they should laugh or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and do you want to tell us a, a little bit about the, m the movie? Sure. The, the, the film is about um, a, a, a man who lives a very, um, you know, a, a very normal and dual life and he he's tired of it and he wants a change and he thinks that he will get that change in his life by kidnapping a young girl. He's got a plan behind it on why he's doing that, uh, that it's gonna be revealed very slowly, but um, that's, that's basically the thing. It's you know a guy going through a crisis in his life where he thinks that he has to achieve now what he deserves. All right, and for Actually, you, Adrian, as a, as a producer, yeah. was it difficult? Um, Adrian has already talked about uh, verse elements. Like it, films, I actually produced a film uh, not, not that long ago. Like any time you're dealing with the the dark el like darker elements, like it makes it so much harder to get get things made. Uh, well, um, like with the previous film with Here Comes the Devil, we did have like this kind of weird, yeah. um, devilish things, like... And all we, stuff dealing with children, too. Yeah, yeah made also. Much, yeah. And we were, like, Adrian was scouting, you know, for uh, um, the mountain where the kids get lost, and this guy that was showing them, they said, no, let's not go further because the devil appears there. Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, but it's the perfect place. You know? But, <laughs> no, certainly it wasn't, like, <laughs> that accurate. And I don't know. With this, uh, with this one, we didn't have like any big, issue. big issues. We just only had we forgot our computer in, in a cab one day, <laughs> and <laughs> we we forgot it, uh, the computer with the hard drives and stuff like that. It was quite. We got uh, we got that back. <laughs> we got it back, but it was kind of scary. <laughs> you know, we were like, okay, like what you call joke makes sense. You know, like missing your. Your film, <laughs> yeah, but but, but also I mean that. I mean the the fact that this movie we we got the finance Very really quickly. really fast yeah we put yeah. it together really fast yeah people people understood the 
you know, the the subject, they, you know, people weren't really yeah. that concerned about the the tone of the film. I think they they understood pretty quick that it was some sort of you know big joke. Yeah, and, yeah. and it wasn't that. Well, it's kind of messed up, but not like really um, with possession or something like. But here comes the devil, which yeah. was definitely creepier to make, and. It was very a very quick project we we pulled together like with the executive producer Joshua Sobel and the rest of the guys. They're really happy about it, so we are. Oh, that's great. More happy than them to be here. I know that, especially when if you go through Hollywood system or just, uh, you, I mean, you you've worked both you know through uh, both ways. Yeah. Do you did you find it? It sounds like it was easier actually. It was to. to go through I mean it was a lot easier I think that when you when you work with more resources it's easier to shoot it's easier to actually get the things rolling uh, when you're shooting you know this was this was you know a bit more complicated in that aspect because you know it was a smaller movie and we had to you know struggle a bit more to get some some of the things that we wanted but at the same time it's it's easier in terms of you have more a lot more freedom to do what you what you want to do, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was a. You get the cut. <laughs> final you cut get the film. you get the final cut. You get everything. You don't have to have a lot of you know discussions about you know every single element that you that you put there. So it's you know, and with Andrea we've been working you know for many years now. So it's it's you know, it's, it's, much it's easy to, to yeah to yeah, to make the personal films. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I have a question. I and I I'm not as familiar. Uh, I wasn't here last year, and uh, sure. I, I was able to catch late phases, which I loved. Thank Seen you. Here Comes the Devil as well, which I love. Scared the hell out of me. So, um, I guess my question is: This group, this uh, you guys seem so tight knit. Sure. You you seem like you're all excited for the next project, and it seems like everyone's behind you on it. Where did you guys come together? Where you know? Where's the backstory there? Right. And, you, uh, you want to share your <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're <laughs> we're so close because when we met each other at the same time, it happens an earthquake in Mexico City. Oh wow! Yes. <laughs> yes. The exact mo in the precise moment that we met each other. We met. Yeah, we we the, or or <laughs> intro, for introduction. He was on his underwear. When, yeah. When he actually, shake hands for the first yeah, time. Nice so the, that was like. So ever since you know, we have him naked in movies. Yeah. 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 Well, why on earth were you in your underwear? <laughs> So the I first think thing that you learned from an earthquake goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you get rid of everything. If everything starts with an earthquake on the street and under in the underworld, yeah, you have to be like a family <laughs> for the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> or else there's blackmail going on. Yeah. yeah. No, that's great. That's, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that was that was a, a peculiar experience. But no, I, I, I was a you know, a big fan of, of uh Francisco's work in, in We Are What We Are. Uh, which is you know an amazing film and, and, and from all the actors that were all great, I you know I found that Paco was had something so special you know that I you know really wanted to work with him. I actually called him for my segment on the ABCs of Death, mm -hmm. but he the, you know there was a, a a conflict with the schedule and he was unable to do it. But then you know we could actually make it work for for Here Comes the Devil and then. You know, we're so happy that we could make it for for this one too. I was actually, you know, I was trying to get him on uh, for a, for a small role for a cameo on Late Faces, but it, you know, couldn't happen. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a very strong relationship. I mean, I feel like we, you know, we we understand each other, you know, really really well. And I personally, you know, have a great respect for his for his work. And with Andrea, we started working like. What was that? Seven well, we met at a um, film festival I was an intern for in Mexico, it's Morbida Film Festival, mm -hmm. and he was presenting two of his films. So okay. we started developing Cold Sweat, mm -hmm. that was going to be a um, Mexican Argentinian production, but the, first, the project got really big, so we cut it and did Watch Em Die instead. Mm -hmm. I went to Argentina and then uh, we fall in love. And I moved to Argentina for a whole year where we did um, Cold Sweat and Penumbra. Back to back. Back to back, like yeah. in the same year. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So you did him. not meet with in the earthquake. No. <laughs> no. 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 With him we did. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It was with, uh, with us. No, no, it was, it was a, a few years before. Yeah. yeah, and I think like the relation is, is that it's like a very mutual respect between each other and we know, for me as an actor, I I feel very comfortable to work with Adrian because he let me be a free of do whatever I think is better for the character. And as an actor, that's very important. That's a very important point to feel free. That makes more strong the relation that you have with the, with your director. And uh, and that's it. I think it's a mutual respect. I respect a lot of the work of Andrea too, and we work very good together. And when we're out, we can have a beer, grab a beer, and go yeah. for dinner. And you know, we're always like in our birthdays. We're very like yeah, familiar. Yeah, our birthdays close to yeah. each other. We're both Aquarians, so yeah, that's so. why we are amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I, I found that to be very important as a moviegoer. As you guys are moviegoers, I'm sure. You, you can usually see that translate onto the screen. Absolutely. So yeah. it's it's yeah. so great to hear that. <laughs> we I haven't mean, heard that you yeah. were strangling one of your... No, I mean, I, yeah, that's, that's the point. I, I, I wanted to talk about, yeah, your direction. You, Yeah, you get these performances in all of your films that are really, a lot of times, very intense, too, out, out sure. of people. Sure. Um, but it sounds like your approach is actually very... Yeah, it's, you know, not not my idea of how to work with actors is not, you know, to put them into tension or in necessary tension to get the result. I think that the process should feel fine, you know, of course there's moments where you need to be super focused and the situations that, you know, they have to work in are very complicated. But, you know, trying to have like a smooth, you know, uh, work environment mm -hmm. yeah. that's one of the most important things for me you know it, I, I don't think that things are going to be better because you yell at the actors or something at like that at the crew yeah we try no. to keep it like very condemned and have fun you know because yeah, have fun. it's what we like doing we love making films and watching mm -hmm. them so what should it be I mean it's of course it's stressful and it kind mm -hmm. of gets like the worst of you at times but we always try to make it like a fun place to be and yeah. everybody's like we want to work with you again and, and also that's the best I also think. the thing about making horror films is that it, the, the process of it, it mostly it's fun you know mm -hmm. there are actors that you know they they struggle more with their with their scenes because their scenes are difficult and uh, you know that's that's a way to approach that some other actors are more like you know just they they just focus when they're doing it but you know in between takes they they can be more relaxed but you know, uh, all in all, it's 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 a it's a it's a cool experience to make a horror movie. You know, there's so many fun and and wild things going on there that you know they're so different from your everyday life. Yeah. Okay, we'll be good. Um, and one of the other things that, that I've noticed through your films, although budgets like lower really great cinematography um, same cinematographer that you generally use not on this film <coughs> unfortunately we couldn't have him for for uh, Scarso Diabolico but I had the same cinematographer from uh, Cold, Cold Sweat Set. to Late Faces and you know, it's a great friend of mine I hope to you know, keep you know continue working with him um, for this it was more of an experiment that we did because uh, we shoot in a very strange way with a very weird uh, anamorphic adapter. Oh yeah. But, 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 <laughs> yeah, but it's a, it's not even like the anamorphic adapters that they usually use it to like make movies. Like it's it, no, it's 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 an old thing that they used for projections of movies yeah. oh, in wow. theaters in the sixties. Very heavy. Very heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where it's you put the adapter on, <laughs> on the front, and then you do. Yeah. Yeah, but then then you have a lot of limitations with the <laughs> with the that. focus. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And because it's things, yeah. it's a fixed focus, so yeah. it's like either you have a, a, a six, six uh, eighteen eighteen feet, yeah. you have focus, or then you have to put diopters. So so you know what the actors did in that. Uh, respect was amazing because they had to be very Still. static <laughs> you know and we had to be very clever about how to shoot it yeah so you don't notice that but i was just watching um the innocence which was one of the first films 
Hollywood films to use that uh, technology of the anamorphic adapters where they were talking about just right. that, that very thing. Right. I even think about Rosemary's Baby, that was all shot on a 50 millimeter focal point and, and they had to work around that as well. Yeah. I can imagine it's a very difficult... It's difficult. But, but the trade-off is the look of it yeah. that you get. It's amazing. It's, very yeah. it's amazing. It's completely, I think uh, it's very different from, you know, any other... Yeah. Any other movie, like I, I, I saw the movie when we finished, you know, the color correction. It was like, I, you know, this looks like something else. Like you, you can't see that it's, you know, shot on on video or anything like that. It's like it looks like something else. You did, did you shoot on a Red Epic again? No, yeah. no. This time we did a number of pulled a number of tricks and we shot on on two uh, K quality the, uh, three three point five K, but with a with a. Crazy. Photo, yeah, yeah, camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we we got three point five k. Yeah. So it was frame. because of yeah mm -hmm. we got we Wider. take advantage of the full yeah the full sensor sensor yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was it was quite an experience. It was quite annoying, but it was awesome. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the results you get from that is amazing. Yeah, like, I've noticed you've always paid. Like, your your last film had that great. Uh, yeah. Like the motion cam shot in it. Sure. Yeah. It sure. took. I think you told me it took. Yeah. Like a, no, it, it was. It was. It was two. It was two days. Yeah. And a lot of pre-production. Yeah. A lot of pre-production. But it was. Yeah. I mean, I always try to to do something. You know, different. To try to explore something in terms of technology that is different, and also like trying to to blend. You know, old lenses or or strange. You know glasses mm -hmm. to the to the to the cameras to get a, a different type of result well it looks like we're yeah just we're done. just wrapping up here so. um release date at all not, not yet. yet not yet we're eventual yeah we we're waiting 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 to hear that yeah i'm sure you will all your yeah. other ones have so yeah 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 thank so you so much you guys for taking thank the time you guys with us. thank we you really very much appreciate we appreciate it thank we're excited you. to see you